We are back at Antix and we will do today is make a customization of Antix JWM. So here I am in IceWM. So to get into JWM, if you don't, if you have logged in already, you go to desktop, other desktop, and we choose ZZZ JWM. This is the JWM tray. The conkey remains the same. And here is the iDesk, which is always available. If I right click, this is the menu, a much simpler menu than the IceWM. Here I have themes with blue day and I restart. So we have a blue in the menu and we have this color. So after we finish with the tray, we will go with the conkey. So if we want to change anything in the conkey, we need to back it up first. So we go here to the file manager. You go down. There is this conkey RC. You copy it and you paste it and you write dot back rename. So we have one if you have problems with this one you can directly delete it and you get back this backup conky. So we go to control center. Also go to conky. This is the file. On window transparent. Let us make it no. And on window type desktop. I want to remove it. I don't want to have it as desktop. And I want to give it a color the same as the tray here. So what I will do is own underscore window. And I, I need the color, this color. How can I get this color? It's very simple. You right click here, press run. You write yad dash color. And you press okay. You press this button here and you press it here. So it tells me the color is 333333. So I put here the color 333333. And I save it. So directly it should give me the same color as this one. Nice. Next thing I will do is I need to add weather down below. So how to add a weather? Let me go to the terminal first to explain it. So uh, we are now in the terminal. There is a command that is we use is curl. It is like a downloading something from a website and the website is wttr.in. This one gives the weather for any country. I put slash, let's say London. So it gives me all the information, the weather about London in a terminal. But the format that I will use is different. Finish. So you press enter. So this command, this small command will give me the weather for any country or city. So let us do it this one in Conkey. So in Conkey, it will give us this information and it will update it every time interval. Let us close. We go to Conkey here. You need to go down, down. And we press the following. So I have here London clear four. If you want to put Paris, let's say. And the final one is... We put Arizona format Arizona. Let us save it. So we have London is clear four degrees, Paris rain shower six degrees, and Arizona clear ten degrees. So we finished with the conk. Let us go to JWM. If you notice in JWM, these are the settings that they are given in Antics. 
if you work with JWM before, there should be only one file which is JWMRC. But what he, what uh, Antix did is that they organized it in into four or five files. So instead of let's say this keys which is here, this file keys, to have it separate, you can include it here. So we'll have all these four files copy pasted here. So to make it more elegant, they divided the keys into another file, the theme into another file, the tray into another file, the preferences to another file, and the menu to another file. Let us look here at the menu. So the menu here, this is the same menu that you see over here, the same one. So if you look here, there is the terminal, there is the file manager, web browser, the editor, app select. If you notice in the personal, the personal here, we have, it is including another file, which is JWM slash personal. So we need to look, look at that. And also for the applications, we have also another file called menu dash applications. And the others, you know. The first thing that I like to do is, if you notice here the desktop, we have the con key here. I want to put the con key toggle, I want to put it directly below the app killer, directly. So if you look here, this is the desktop, and the desktop has two menus. We have a menu which is other desktops, we have the rocks panel, and we have the con key on off. So what we have is, let us copy it. I want to remind you before doing anything, we need to back up. Finished. So here what we'll do is I want to remove this one or I want to, I can keep it. I copy it and where I will place it, I need to place it below the app killer. Where is the app killer? It is here. I press enter and I will paste. Doesn't matter the space, but let us make it more presentable. We save it. So what happened now? Nothing happened. We need to restart that JWM. So we need to restart it. Now we put, so the con key on off is, is here. This is how we can play with the menu. In order to get used to it, you since we have backed up, you can do whatever you want. You remove one one thing, you put it in another thing, so that it will be more pleasant for you. For here, as we discussed, we have in the we have a personal menu and menu dash applications. So now in the personal menu, it has one. And in the applications menu, we have all of these. Let's say I want to take this ISO snapshot. Maybe because I need it too much. And I want to put it also in the beginning here. So what do I do? I need to go to this menu dash applications. So I go here, file, open. In antics.jwm, there is menu dash applications I double click it so it is here I will look at ISO snapshot let me search find snap so this is the ISO snapshot I copy it I copy all this line I copy all this line and where I put it, I put it in the menu here, in the menu here, let me put it below conky, I'll, I'll paste it, save, let us restart, restart JWM, so now I have the ISO snapshot. The next item we will talk about is the startup. Suppose you want to start up some application. All you have to do is you place it here. 
one of the startups that you might need is you might do some backup or some reminder. You have some bash script you want to run at startup. You put it here for start. For the tray, if you notice in the tray here, they have four icons. One, two, three, four. And here we have five. Why we have five? Because there is one for the menu. The menu and one for each one. If I want to say, I want to put the control panel, the control panel, I want to put it here. The control panel, I want to put it here. What do I do? I need to add another button. Let me copy this one. And I want to paste it. So now we have this tray. The execution to execute the control center, it is antics.cc.sh. But we need to change the icon. We need to change the icon and the pop-up, we'll call it control center. So we need the icon for control center. How to get it? We can get it from the menu here. Because we are in the tray, we go to the menu. We look where is the control center. This is the control center. This is the icon. So let us take this, this path of the icon. Copy, we'll come back to the tray. And we paste, paste it here. We save this one. And we restart. So now we have the control center. If I click on it, it will open the control center. Simple enough. Last, we will discuss the keys. The keys, if you notice here, you can make shortcut keys. As you can see, the A stands for Alt, the C for Control, this is CA Control Alt. And these are, if you want to comment, you can use these. If you want to remove them, you remove this one and the other one. It is a personal preference, so you can uh, customize it the way you want.